Hi, I'm Rhea. Hi, I'm Haley, and together we are Chronicles of a Spoonie, sharing stories, creating connections. So, you know, I sent you a video today on WhatsApp on mm -hmm. um, Odin out on a walk. So, me and Scott decided to go um, to this new place. I've never been to it. Scott reckons he's been there before, but I have no recollection of that. Um, to try and let Odin off the lead for the first time. And he's six months old. Like, I'm is absolutely terrified of letting him off the lead. So I'm like, okay, well, I want to go another step first. So we went to this small pet, pet kind of pet store place. Um, I think you're the same. I try to use small companies where I can to try and boost their business, mm -hmm. um, especially with COVID and how it did so much damage to so many businesses. Um, try to go to them as much as possible. And there's this small little pet shop that for some reason in my head, I've been to before, but I thought it was in an industrial park and I thought it was quite big and, and it, it wasn't, it's just this tiny, weeny little thing on the side of a house. Mm -hmm. Like house, garage converted into a shop. Clever. Um, and I went there on the purpose to go and buy a training lead. Yeah. Because he has an extender lead, but it's only like five meters. And I think you can't really tell with just five meters. They're actually going to recall when you recall yeah. them. Because they could be like, oh, I've got to the end of my five meters. She's calling. Might as well go get something, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so you had the small dogs one in front. And I nearly bought that one until I noticed it said four meters. And I was like, I'm not going to pay 17 pounds for four meters when I've got a five meter extender in the car. Mm -hmm. And I really want something else. So I started shuffling through and got the big dog one, which was, it wasn't even that much either. Like on Amazon, you can get 21 meters. This was like 14. Why does the, why does the length of the lead correspond to the size of the dog? Like why does a small dog only get four meters? Why does it, why is it not just all dogs? Why can you not just pick a length? I'm trying to think of an answer. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know doesn't seem like there is a logical answer why would you not just have like <laughs> this length you can have a four meter like it's not like you go in and buy a tape measure based on how big <laughs> the thing is that you're measuring <laughs> I've got to do two things here one actually bring my mic to me hi it's our new background because you know we just went for a ride there apparently but I never thought of that that way. And I, I literally love your analogy there of tape measures. Like you wouldn't, would you? You wouldn't no. go, right, I want to I want to measure a piece of wood that's four by four roughly, but yeah. I want to make sure it is. Let me just go and get a ruler instead. Yeah. Like, you don't, do you? You always get out your tape measure. I mean, I, I used to think it was to do with the weight. I always thought the longer the lead, the wider it got. Right. But I put them next to each other today and it was maybe one millimeter wider, maybe maybe yeah, two. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're if you're catering for all sizes with an extendable <laughs> lead, why not just make it the sturdiest and biggest that it can possibly be for the largest dog you could possibly have, and therefore yep. it covers all bases. Oh, yeah. I mean, it'd be different if it was like a lead with a harness or a lead with a collar. Then obviously right. you need different sizes, but the lead is just a lead. A lead. It doesn't matter what size the dog is. It's the same thing. Extendable says, isn't it? Like if you're getting a little dog, the lead that you are offered is like four meters. Yeah. If you've got a big dog, they yeah. offer you like twelve meters, and it's, and it's like I understand it's got to be harder for them to pull it on an extender. So I kind of get that one. They need to be a stronger dog. Yeah. But on an extend on a training lead, you're letting rope, technically rope out. So, yeah. Is it that the further they go, it's the more they've got a pull? So therefore it's heavier, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. We're, we're working into this. That We're getting there. We're, we're figuring this out. See, the text. This isn't even the point of the story. No, it's not. It's not. But Pinky and the Brain were technically detectives. I mean, seriously. <laughs> if you ever wondered why different sizes were different breeds, there you go. We worked it out for you. We worked it out. So I was not prepared to... Let him off fully. It's, it's the point I was getting at. And so I wanted an extender, uh, a training lead, £27. On Amazon, it's like 12 but because I wanted it there and then, 
and yeah. I wanted to help a little business. Twenty-seven pounds sale. Ouch. Ouch. Ouch indeed. When the the smaller one was like fourteen, I think it was. I was mm-hmm. like, okay, I'm happy to pay fourteen, and I was looking at twenty-seven, and then I right at the back, I found a different brand, the exact same lead, different brand, for twenty-two pounds and eight pence. So I was like, I'll have that one, please. Why is it nearly double the price between those two whenever all the only difference is the length of the lead? It's not worth double the price. It's just a little bit longer. I have no idea. And I I was looking at different things whilst I was there because they have, and I wish I'd gone there before for a a lead because the style of leads they've got and the amount they've got there, it's just the range for such a small place was phenomenal. Yeah, Absolutely phenomenal. The price is matched. And I understand it's a small business and they need to make money and it's probably good quality as well yeah. compared to Amazon, but wow. And wow. that's why Amazon does so well. <laughs> Amazon's is. crushing small businesses. Exactly. They can compete. They can't. They really can't. Um, and if I got a little bit extra, then I will go to the smaller company. But when I, on the, t- the times when we're, we're also struggling because the prices of things right now are just yeah. phenomenal. And prices are rising but wages aren't like it's it's always the way though everything else goes up and wages stay the same it's always the way like price cost of just daily things cost of fuel cost of heating cost of electricity mm-hmm. tax national insurance you name it it's all going up Absolutely. except what goes into our pockets it really is and i'm going to take my headphones off one second i have no idea why i'm wearing them i've got no idea <laughs> I mean, it's not an issue. No, but I'd rather not. Simba wants to be on camera, apparently. Right, I don't want you to. Is it... Where is he? No, there's just the camera's twisting around to look at his table. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> right, there you are. Right, now you're on it. Ouch. Oh. Back to me, please. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> What's going on? I was like, you just properly went, nope. Yep, no thanks. I want to watch the, the, the tour toys, please. Right, let's try this again. Can I speak to you just for a second? Would that be okay? Just me and you? I'm just waiting for it to go. Whoop. I know, me too. Right, <laughs> I had done the same thing as I did last time. Look, there it is. This is the beginning of my fringe. Oh, yeah, you segmented off to the side again. Yeah. Look at my roots, man. I decided not to get my roots done. I know I've got to go back to the dog story, but I decided not to get my roots done. I decided not to pay the money out this time. Um, so there's my fringe, ready to go. Um, because what's the point in spending 60 quid when I'm just going to be shaving it off in more yeah. than 50 days? Let me check. This is going to be sorry. the... Um, this is kind of the announcement one, isn't it? Because the, the last one we hadn't... At the time of recording, I hadn't booked... Holy moly, what? yeah. Hayley's coming to my house. Uh, it's actually under 50 days. It's 49 days now. It's on the 1st of June. Yeah, 1st of June. 1st of June. He's leaving. I'll be in that room. On a jet plane and come to my house. And stand forever because I'm keeping her. Sitting beside you. That's going to be the weirdest one. We're going to do a chit chat with Hayley right next to me. I'm going to need to bring my chair with me. Where am I going to sit? <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to do it downstairs. We'll have to work it out. Yeah. We'll have to work it out. I can't wait. But what I have just noticed is so I'm looking over at Hayley at the minute is the color of our jumpers. Your, I know. your color is the legit color. That's what color the jumpers are. Right. Mine looks really washed out. And what's this weird ass line I've got across my chest? Look. Do you know what? I um Stuart washed mine for me. Uh the last time it was washed, yeah, so not long ago. Um he had washed it and he didn't realize he put it in the tumble dryer. How is it? It's actually okay. Now it's it's not coming away, it's just like a little bit crinkled, mm-hmm. but it's not peeling. So, um, yeah, naughty, naughty. it's fine. But I was thinking if you're just faded, we could, we could buy another couple and get some new ones. And... Oh, it's no, it's the same color as yours. 
No, I know. I just mean because it's obviously washed. It's probably been washed more. Because no, no. Mine is still it. the same colour as yours, but the lighting is making it look oh. washed out. Okay. I don't understand what, that is, what that's about. Because everything else looks the same colour as it normally is. Yeah. Weird. Even even my thermometer gun that's apparently appearing in this this this, this month's chit chat. Hey, hi. We like to change the backdrop every so often. <laughs> Keep it interesting. Yeah. I've also got this interesting. Yeah, love the line. The line. But yeah, we can always make another ones when you come around. That's fine. Don't have to have a reason. Just make them because we can. <laughs> just because we can okay so let's finish my story because i keep I know. let's go back to the original story this is just what we're like welcome to we the world like all these different Haiti. avenues before we actually get back to the point we're trying to make everyone's listening like can you just tell the story it's every day with us every day we have about seven conversations uh, once though don't we, we, we even yeah. more voice memos yeah it makes it very difficult to reply because at least with a conversation you're actively talking back and forward yeah. But see when it's a voice note and I get like an 11 minute, 15 minute voice note comes through from you. It's like, right. Pen and paper. Right I genuinely do get a pen and paper. Like I'm not even, I'm not even shitting you. Oh, like, okay. I have had post-it notes or I have written down things that I need to reply to because there is so much that I can't physically remember. Sorry. Fuck you, <laughs> My brain goes so ridiculously fast. I can't. It's just it can't do it and I, and there's so many conversations i know that i have with you where i go through one into two into three and then go shit what was like what was the point of my story why did i message you and then i have to pause it and then come back and go oh yeah that's, that's what, what i was trying to say so yeah on that note back to the dog <laughs> oh yeah back to the dog. <laughs> so we got this lead we went to this area that scott had told me about and we're walking down and we only meet like three people the whole time we're there and you got to remember scott's got his busted ankle my mobility is not great we are a right pair hobbling up and down this little area and then andrew andrew's on his little lead and he's he's technically not returning he's hearing me to say crme i can't say it because otherwise he will um he's hearing me say it and then he stops and goes to the nearest bush and stands and sniffs it this is as close as I'm getting. That's all I'm going to give you, mother. Look, that's it. I'm not going to continue walking. I'm going to allow you to come to me. Yeah. And I'm going to sniff and pee on this little bit of bush here. Yeah. It's I've almost like you saying come makes him think that you're going to, come to he has me. to stop there and you're going to go to him. Yeah. 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 It, it, it's, it's my position after I've yeah. said the command for me to then carry out the command yeah. for him. Absolutely. He's training you well. I oh, don't. No. I know. I think I think I'm doing pretty good. I should get a, a gold star at the next owner training lesson. Yeah, because yeah. that's what we're doing there. It's not puppy training. It's owner training. It's owner training. Yeah, technically it is though. Another story because I was going to start on that one. Back to no. the story. <laughs> Sorry, I will get there. I promise. But just before I do, I've never seen my dog pee on as many bits of branches and grass and everything that I did to today. Like, really? That was wild. It's like two steps. Oh, that's not mine yet. Two steps. Yep. And that one. And it just kept going and going and going. And Scott's like, I don't think you got to worry, babe, because he's really not, he's not going anywhere. He's not, he's not doing anything. He's literally. He's like an old man in a puppy's body. Sometimes I swear. Do you know what? I'm now picturing him with a walking stick. Quite, quite funny, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know those outfits you can get like they were in the suit <laughs> you have to oh i got it now you i gotta to. know anyway so he's on this on this on this like this 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 lead and it's taken us ages to get it into a, a a wrap that we like and we can handle and lead it out and bring it back in and all this stuff <laughs> and he starts then returning in a very slow pace and I'm like, you know what? He's, he's not going anywhere. And I let him off. The second I let him go, pure anxiety came through me and I started having a panic attack. I'm like, oh my God, because go back to the last time we had a proper good snow um, and Bailey was still alive. Um, I used to let him off the lead all the time. And this one time 
it snowed and we were at the park and I let him off. Two hours, I was trying to get him back, two hours. And I couldn't get him back. And I mean, we had a good amount of snow. And he's just bouncing around this, this, this field, yay! Two hours, still not tired. I had to wait for our neighbor to get home from work to bring her dog down to get my dog into her car so I could go home. So my instant brains is like, we're near a train track. I know it's fenced, we're near a train track. I don't know where this road leads. Mm. It turns about and goes the other way is a main road. And my anxiety was just like, oh. yeah, I know because your biggest fear is for me anyway, whenever, because there's only really, well, I only really walk Cooper and I of the three of them. And he generally is quite good off a lead. Mm -hmm. But if he spots a cat, so. you're done for. He's gone. It's tunnel vision and no amount of calling and it's going to get him back and it's all he's always been like that otherwise his recall is spot on yeah you know he comes but he stops and comes back and he never really goes more than a few paces ahead of you before he stops and turns and looks at you to see if you're still there but okay there's these couple of things that just trick that whatever it is it's like a switch and that's always my biggest anxiety is if what if a squirrel runs out in front of us right now or what if there's a cat somehow and he's gone yeah exactly and he won't be aware of what's going on around him not just me calling him exactly. but any dangers that are around him that's it and it's so harmed or harmed yeah. or lost um, and one of my other ones as you know is being taken like i'm just so fearful and i don't know his triggers yet mm -hmm. like i know that if it's a cat across the road he wants to go and see them um, but he wants to see kids he wants to see other dogs he wants to see other humans he wants to see birds he wants to see oh my god he chases bumblebees everywhere oh, great it's summer like he's been stung three times three times can you not just stick to the wasps and leave oh, bumblebees alone nope oh, bumblebees then they drop dead and i'm like you murderer oh there was like a really big one and it got as far as my um conservatory window before it on the floor I'm like we're not talking Odin you no just, I didn't just like go. that the bumblebees well they're, they're um, hovering at the plants and all the plants yeah. are obviously on his level and um, he, he, he thinks they're a game I'm probably, they're probably like soft, mini soft toys to him because that's what they're, they're fluffy yeah. <laughs> yeah. little fluffy things <laughs> like oh little my toys. Edge. <laughs> I remember the first one he did, we did and he stung his nose and he come running in. And that's the that's when the bumblebee didn't make it to the window. And uh I remember him coming in, he's like, oh, oh god, mum, help, help, help. And he must have got it off. He's like, ah, oh. and off he goes again. Learn. Oh, no. Oh, this this one doesn't learn. He doesn't learn. He's run into the same doors, smacked his same his head on, repeatedly on the same corners. Like he don't care. <laughs> he just don't care. He didn't even go out there. He's just staring. Yeah. Oh, he's gone now. There he goes. Daddy home, is he? Yeah. No, no, he's he's working, so. Oh. Just me and the doggies. So, <laughs> back to the original conversation again. Thank oh, God we don't edit these because this would be a nightmare of me having to try and go through and like pick out the bits where we're like, right, okay, back to the story and chop that and put it forward again because I think this is the worst we've ever been. Usually we can just about manage for a chit chat to actually get through a topic before. Like last time was amazing. You had so many segues that once we finished the topic, we just swiftly moved into this next one. Yeah. But this time it's just going to be, sorry guys, it's just going to be all over the place. <laughs> Some of them are going to be like this. <laughs> Ever wonder what Ria's ADHD looks like? Ta-da! Oh, it is a nightmare. My head is so busy. I've got so much going on in my head. But back to the story. So I've let him off his lead. And first of all, he's dotting around near us because obviously he doesn't realise he's been that off the lead. And so I'm comfortable. I'm like, okay, this is all right. This is good. Mm -hmm. This is great. I start a conversation with Scott, you know, don't normally talk to him, but I thought, here's a moment. Nothing else to do. A bit bored. <laughs> <laughs> and I look up and he is out in front. Now he's not ridiculously far, but Scott kind of goes, you might want to record him now. Because he doesn't listen to Scott because Scott 
He's got no respect for Scott whatsoever. <laughs> That's a whole other story. So um, I call him and I realize at that point, I'm doing it really softly. I'm like, come in, come in. And he's like, what? Yeah. And off he goes. So then I deepened my voice. I'm like, come. And he's like, oh, you meant it. Oh, yeah. Okay, here I come. And he returned. And I think after the first one, I kind of relaxed a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we about turned and we'd already agreed that on the way back he was going to go back on the lead because if he had gone further and we're heading towards the main road um, that's just not something we wanted to risk and on the way back we started meeting people we started meeting dogs um, so he did pretty darn good he did really good I was actually really quite proud of myself more than him holding it together Mm -hmm. um, and actually allowing it to happen because in my head he was forever going to just be on this long leash yeah um but he definitely enjoyed the freedom he was absolutely shattered by the time when we got back he's still asleep now which is cool um and i have to say that people that we did bump into were really responsible mm. like, really responsible there was one, um, a couple of ladies with a dog off the lead who they knew really really well um and he was great at greeting really good at greeting because um as you know, dogs greet by sniffing butts. I mean, imagine if humans did that, man. Imagine you getting off the, the plane, get on the train, and me running up to you and going, oh, hi, and sniffing your ass. And you're sniffing mine, like, imagine that. Smelling great. <laughs> you smell fantastic. <laughs> you used a day today, didn't you? <laughs> Good scrub. Scrub. <laughs> But no, great, great interaction. And he normally goes like quite wild when he, um, got to tell you about his girlfriend. He normally goes quite wild when meeting another dog because he's still, it's still new to him. Like, even though he goes to puppy classes, they've not been allowed to interact. Mm-hmm. Apparently we got to do it on our terms. And it was like day three or something, yeah, like day three. Yeah, day three, meet up three, where he got to meet one dog finally. God, right, okay. So... He's like, every time he sees a dog, he's like, oh my God, I'm actually near you, I'm near you. Oh, yay, I got to meet you. And he goes wild, really wild. So this dog turns out he was 16, but still had a lot of life in him. Uh, he's like a Jack Russell mix. I don't know what he's mixed with, I didn't ask. Um, but he came in and he's come up slowly to Odin. And then he went slowly around the back, sniffed, so Bailey, um, Bailey Odin then went and sniffed his mum. And that was it. Just a couple of sniffs at the face then and they parted. And it was like, oh my God, that was perfect. Like, absolutely perfect. And it did, 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 it does seem that the way that the other dog brings themselves in. Yeah. Oh, it makes a huge difference. And that's why there's such a debate over, <laughs> um, you know, should dogs, do people truly know when their dogs should be off lead or run other dogs? Because it goes back to the argument of, yes, your dog may be great off lead. Mm-hmm. Your dog may be super friendly. Yeah, you could come across another dog who is on a lead that isn't yeah. friendly, and yeah. that is why they are on that lead. Right. And if your dog gets excited, runs up in the face of that dog, that is not the dog that's on the lead's fault right. that you've allowed that to happen because yep. the responsible dog owner in that situation is the person who has theirs on the lead because they are aware of the limitations of their animal. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. it's safer for the animal to like it's safer for both parties. Yeah, I've seen um, owners that have got dogs on leads. And I've even been more responsible to have the colour coordination. So, you know, you can get leads that says... Um, uh, nervous dog. Yeah, nervous dog and stuff. Yellow. Like uh, I'm going to get only one that says excitable. So it just... It, yeah. It gives the owners coming towards them, us, an idea of what they're about to, to greet. Even if he's on yeah. a lead, I think it's a good idea that they know he's excitable so they know, okay, we've got up to a dog now. My dog doesn't like or doesn't do, do well with excitable dogs. I can see that that's that color that they're, wear, they're wearing. Yeah. And, 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 you know, as dog owners, we should be educated in the colors. Definitely. That, that, that there are out there. Um, but yeah, no, it went really well. I like, was really proud of him and I was proud of myself. <laughs> uh, I'm proud of me and Scott making it. By the time I got back to the car, both of us were like squealing in pain. Um, but we also felt good for having achieved being out and and having a bit of fresh air and and being somewhere different and giving Odin the opportunity to be off his lead and you know yeah 
So yeah, it was a really, it was a really good um, trip. But yesterday, um, I had Odin on his, his his usual little walk, and we bumped into a hmm, it's a terrier crossed with a is it Syrian poodle? A some sort of poodle. I can't remember mm-hmm. what it was. Um, and her name. It's just gone out of my brain. I know it, so it, it will come back to me because of M. But um, I have never seen Odin play before. It was another dog. Really? Yeah, no. They're all dogs we meet. He meets them, and he might bounce a little bit, but that's about it. And, oh, my God, he was, like, down, and then run, running around in a circle, and down. <laughs> I love and that. Going around. And it turns out she's 10 months old, was in season, in season, and we know what Odin's like, especially after eating. Um, but they just had this amazing like connection and amazing, amazing interaction. And it was adorable. And me and the other owner were just like, a oh, Wilma. Her name was Wilma. It wasn't even M. Her name was Wilma. It's an upside down M. Yeah, there you go. It's technically the same thing. Yep, it's an M. Yep. <laughs> it was like, and the owner was like, oh my gosh, you got a boyfriend. I was like, oh yes, you got a girlfriend. And didn't even think to change information and walk them together. So mm. I'm going to try and find her on the internet. See if I can hunt her, hunt her down. <laughs> Just hunt down this woman with a poodle. Yeah. Excuse me. I mean, did I meet you on the, the main road? And do you have a dog called Wilma who's in heat right now? And is <laughs> oddly specific. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> Wonderful one to get the dogs together to have a play. Obviously, when she's not. And um, yeah. he's about to have the snips. So by the time this goes out, he should be ballless. Um, so that'd be a lot safer as well. But yeah, I just think it'd be good to have have that like one dog that he grows up with. Yeah, definitely. Bailey had it, and and he loved it. He absolutely loved it. So yeah, that was my day. How was yours? I mean, how many how many <laughs> minutes are we in already? God knows. Take up half the show. Uh, my dog day wasn't anywhere near as interesting as that. Just work. Just work. Yeah, tell me that. Had that as well. I made the. But it's a short week this week, which is great because obviously this all gone out after the fact. But it's Easter this weekend, so. Oh yeah. I we have a choice. <laughs> we always get Monday off, but we have a choice of taking the Friday or the Tuesday. So I'm going to take the Friday and the Monday because, um, it gives me two four day weeks. So the choice is two four-day weeks or one three-day week. So okay, yeah. two four-day weeks. Nice. So, so your yeah. Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Nice. Nice long weekend. Can't wait. So tomorrow is technically Friday. Even though it's Thursday, it's Friday. <laughs> well, that will get, that'll mess you up just like it did last weekend but us having yeah. days together. Yeah. Scott's going to work because obviously he's had so much time off. His right. ankle. He's got physio tomorrow. Um... So hopefully they can do something. He's got pins and needles all the time. Mm. So that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> Ta-da, he's here. <laughs> um, yeah, no, all of a sudden, he's like, well, I say all of a sudden, he's only just told me about it. And I was like, oh, well, that's gone suddenly. He's like, no, it's been going for like six weeks. Men. Men. Do they all just learn the same things? Like, do they just go to this school of stupidity and learn things <laughs> from a young age and just never change? Well, stupidity, absolutely, 100%. I'm with you on that one. That's exactly what I think it is. Especially with medical stuff. Oh. Especially with medical stuff. I don't get it. They just I don't, don't think they say anything. Mm-mm. I don't get it. They're so stupid. But yeah, he's got physio tomorrow. I said mention it. He went, what are they going to do about it? I said, the physios. They might know something to manipulate or I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's got... Nothing worth mentioning. They need to know anyway because say you've got pins and needles and they decide that there's maybe some exercises that they can't do because there's, right. they maybe suspect it to be a trap nerve or whatever else. Yeah. And they maybe think we've got some sensitivity there so we don't want to aggravate it. Yeah. He doesn't listen. <laughs> But he has decided to keep his appointment with his consultant. So that's good. Well, there's a plus. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> and that's in April, I think. So and the, 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 it was his choice if he 
well, where, where in not, April. They gave gave him like an open thing and said, look, if you feel like you don't need it, like just cancel it and that's fine. We'll just charge you. But if there's anything happening that you think um, that needs to be seen, this, then keep it and we'll see you in April. So I do you know it's halfway through April now? The 13th I knew that. April. <laughs> I absolutely knew that. So it's probably very soon. Like how is it April though to be fair like how are we in April I mean d- don't get me wrong I'm loving it because it means we're one step closer to June yeah. but how? how 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 four months into 2020 like we've been doing our podcast for four months like it's been live for four months I was gonna say we've been recording longer than that but yeah really merry crazy do you like my choice of a um, non-swearing word <laughs> <laughs> it's okay this gets marked as explicit everyone knows they're going to get swearing maybe fuck <laughs> it's more like it <laughs> there's the real we know <laughs> but no anyway oh, yeah. i have a few plans for this one i've kind of taken the lead on um this this podcast chit chat this week of there's these things floating around this room i don't know what's going on um and one of them is i have some jokes from a hairy and I've been waiting. I've, I've, you know, it's been a struggle. It's so long. Every, every, mm-hmm. We've been waiting so long. You keep telling me we have this. They have these jokes, and yeah. I have been waiting for probably over a <laughs> month now for you to actually tell me them. I have them right here, and every time we zoom, I'm like, I'll just, I just believe them. It's fine. I won't do them. I want to ask them. But here's my fear now. After all this time, and I'm guessing you've been flicking through TikTok. There is a chance that all the jokes I have for you, you know the answers to. That would be so funny. <laughs> well, um, one of them, I'm truly hoping that you don't know. Okay. Because I was in stitches, but I'm going to quickly grab a drink. I'm going to shut the door. And... It's <coughs> a bit bright. Okay, joke time with Ria. I've got all the jokes. So these ones I picked because they're Hogwarts related. Okay. And you are a Hogwarts fan. Are you ready for this? I think so. How do you get into Hogwarts? Through the Gryffindor. Ah ha ha. Sure. You know what happens if the door won't open? You slither in. Oh, yes. <laughs> if you get kicked out, do you know what you can do? Yeah, do you know what you can do? Oh, no, I don't. Hufflepuff and blow the house down. I was thinking someone do Hufflepuff. <laughs> Hufflepuff and blow the house down. <laughs> Oh. They were my Harry Potter ones. I oh, thank, thank you. Love it. Okay. So now I'm worried you might have seen this one on TikTok. So this okay. could be my, my whole segment gone. Okay. So there's a plane flying 500 bricks and one falls out. How many bricks are there? There's a plane flying 500 bricks. Yep. One falls out. How many are left? Yep. There's a plane flying. Do the planes carrying five hundred bricks? Yeah, because but there's there's no there's no there's no um, trick to this. It's literally just a question. The plane's flying five hundred bricks, and one brick falls out of the, of the plane. How many bricks left in the plane? Four hundred ninety-nine. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I thought this was like the actual <laughs> me thinking like every looking at every word you said. It was just so easy. Okay, there's three steps to put an elephant in the fridge. What are they? <laughs> what? Uh, shrink it, open the door, and close, put, put the elephant in. Close. Open the door, put the elephant in, shut the door. Ah, oh, close. 
there's four steps to putting a giraffe in the fridge. What are they? Open the door, take the elephant out, put the giraffe in and close the door. <laughs> yes! I just clicked. Well done. Well done. Love it. Okay. That is why I am brilliant. <laughs> Okay, the, the king of the jungle is holding a party and all the animals turn up apart from one. Why not? Do I have to guess what animal it is? It doesn't turn up? No, you just got to explain why. Why it doesn't turn up? So king of the jungle has a party and all the animals turn up bar one. Why not? You don't need the music on this. I don't know. Draft's still in the fridge. Huh? <laughs> See what you did there. <laughs> okay. Draft's in the fridge, like, Lou. <laughs> Lou. Can I come outside? <laughs> Sally's got to cross a um, alligator infested uh, water um, and makes it to the other uh, makes it to the other side and she survives. How? Sally's an alligator. No, the alligators are at the party. Uh -huh. <laughs> She makes it to the other side and survives, but then dies. Why? The alligators came back from the party. No, a brick fell out of a plane hit on the head. Killed her. so funny <laughs> that is funny oh, i love ones like that where they just lead on i see yeah. it on, on tiktok it was something like dan's girlfriend or something like that on tiktok that i saw it on and mm -hmm. i actually have recorded scott doing it and i've never posted it because his reaction is just like oh that's so funny it just killed me absolutely killed me i feel like i should have got them though like i feel like now knowing them it's so obvious i know it's so li li ridiculously obvious of what the answers are but yet when you're trying to think of them yeah did he get like, any of them hmm? did he get any of the answers no well, i got one you did really well i got the fridge one of the giraffe when when you started almost getting in the elephant one I was like, oh gosh, she heard it and she's trying to make me feel better by not like saying no. thing. And then you got the giraffe one. I'm like, oh no, she's gonna get it. She's like the smart one. Oh god, I got the smart one. <laughs> then you did get the next one. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. She's not so smart after all. Well, I thought after you got the um the giraffe one, I thought you're gonna figure it out. So I'm kind of glad you did not. I don't have good enough memory. I completely forgotten about the plane by the time we got to the end of it that's the whole point yeah that's, that's what they do they get they give you this easy one at the start because it was so easy your brain like just kind of discards it yeah and then the rest of them make you have to really think and so you've, you've forgotten the uh the the the, the thing it's because they're all so separate you kind of don't twig that they're linked yeah until you get the answer i, I can't remember if it was ruth or lorraine but one of them got the brick one or was, was it jay that was brilliant it could have been Jay. I love that. I love it too. Um, but if you don't know, I was meant to shave my hair off on April the 10th for charity. But because my lovely Haley is coming over in June and I forgot to advertise properly and I didn't put the link out to raise money, um, we have moved it to we. We. <laughs> we I have moved it. <laughs> it's a joint effort, actually. So I'll, I'll have you know that it is we. 
you are carrying the really heavy you know clippers to shave my hair so i'll give you that it's kind of it's i'm not gonna lie it's kind of stressful like i'm responsible for taking somebody's hair off their head i'm not even responsible enough to look after my own hair you're low-key really looking forward to it you know low-key like <laughs> yeah satisfying taking off all that hair i'll just keep going around and take the eyebrows and everything i'll just i'll just do the whole lot <laughs> Back and crack. <laughs> oh, wait, I ain't got a sack. Click, click the second back. No, click, no, still no. <laughs> Don't have a fucking sack. I crack and minge. Not by the way, gonna <laughs> shave her vagina. Wait for it. I'll donate double the amount if you do a range two. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! What we set ourselves up for? Anyway, back to the topic in hand. It doesn't involve a minge. Um, oh god, Haley's gonna be at mine for a, a few days, so we have we. I am she's gonna shave my hair off on June the 5th, Sunday, June the 5th at 8 pm, and we will be live on Facebook and TikTok simultaneously. So if you wish to watch that, you can. Um, <coughs> before she shaves it all off, she'll be doing a mohawk first. I need to practice. I need to get myself like a mannequin. I was going to say Stuart, but he's got no hair. He's got nowhere to start with. It doesn't work. <laughs> Simba. I do. I I, like, if I fuck up a mohawk. Like... <laughs> well, it's basically just taking the same amount off on both sides of the head. <laughs> You'll end up with like a mohawk over here. <laughs> well, it'll give me an idea still, isn't it? Like an off center mohawk. <laughs> you know what we might have to do? We might have to do like the mohawk on the Saturday so I get like to live with it for 24 hours. Yeah. And get used to it and then do the rest of the mohawk off on the Sunday. Yeah. Plan. Plan. Living for it. So anyway, um, before all that happens, one thing I've wanted to do for a long time is have a fringe again. Like it's been a moment, like a long moment. Um, and you know when you get like... Oh, my my hair is falling out and so my scalp is hurting so i apologize for pressing my head all the time um but you know when you cut a fringe and you have the panic of if i regret it i've got to wait for that fringe to grow all the way down again yeah but because i'm going to be taking everything off it kind of just feels like okay let's just do it let's do it do let's it let's do it so here and now we're doing it i'm looking in the mirror at the same time um i'm gonna i'm gonna cut my fringe off I can't wait for this. This is going to be quality entertainment. Quality entertainment. If it goes wrong, if it goes right, it's going to be like, Ew. I know, everyone's going to hope for it going wrong. Born. There Name we go, Brad it. Mondo. This is one for you, buddy. <laughs> Pinky is going to trim her fringe really badly just to be on Brad Mondo's show. You know how it is. You know how you it know is. What you're <laughs> when we do the mohawk. Second time. I will be famous it. for the worst mohawk in the history of mohawks. In the history, every time I hear someone say history, I hear RuPaul go in history. In history. In history. I can't say it like he does, but or she does, depending on mode. But um, yeah, history. So I got I got skizzers. I had to um, bleach them because they used to trim my dog's butt hair. Because he was a bishop and he had clay nuts, which means balls of shit stuck to the wall. You're welcome. So <laughs> I had to. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the segment, can you tell? So I had to um to, to disinfect them first. And I really oh, haven't done a good job did. because I keep touching my touching my face after I've touched them. You didn't even need to tell anybody that part. Nobody needed to know that those were used for your fish on's ass. You didn't have to tell anyone. You could have just said nothing and nobody would ever have had to know 
Right, you've known me for how long and you've known that this cannot say everything that this is thinking. It just happens. Like, can you help it? Just can't help it. This is why yeah. I let you edit. No, I don't know why I let you edit because you keep it all in. <laughs> you, you got it. <laughs> you don't cut it out. Every time I want something cut out now, I'm just going to say something you don't want just, anyone knowing straight next to it, like right <laughs> after it, just say so you have got no cutting point. <laughs> I'm giving the people what they want. <laughs> giving the people what they want. Rhea spewing rubbish yeah. out of her mouth. Her vomit. So I need something to put over my legs to catch the hair. <gasps> oh, I got a genius idea. Just had it. It just literally. I could tell. Scott's got a beard shaving cape. That would be perfect. I'm going to use it as a fringe, not a minge, a fringe trimming cape. Um, I can herstory here, ladies and gentlemen. I can take a chance of making. <laughs> okay. And I've not had alcohol. What the hell is this? What is going on? You're just living off the high of cutting your hair. I think it's nerves. I don't know why I'm nervous. I'm like, I wanted to trim my fringe in for how long? Is Since you, the last um, chit chat where you had it parted to the side, you parted it that day to be able to cut it and it still hasn't been done. Well, it's that. So but I'm so glad that you gave it the extra, like I know it worked out well, obviously with me coming over and being able to do it, but I'm so glad you've given yourself a little bit of time to try out these few things because it means you know for whenever your hair goes back if you decide you want a fringe you can because you know exactly. what it looks like and if i want a mohawk like i want to it's like well, everyone thinks of mohawks they think of these pointy things so i keep looking at Haley, she's over there because i couldn't bother to move everything around today my work is everywhere on the desk um but i'm not talking about those like spiky kind of mohawks yeah. i'm talking more like pink mohawky kind of thing where it's kind of floppy but like puffed up kind of mohawk the only thing i'm worried about with having a fringe is obviously my feed and having to keep it trimmed up above the eyes to make sure it's not in the way and stuff like that. But we'll see. You can always use a headband and keep it pulled back though, like at the top of your head. That's true. Or use like um whenever I had a fringe, I used to use like just those clips. What do you call them? Bobby pins. And just pin it back. Yeah. So you can always do that. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> it's got suction cups. I got no idea suction. Oh, can I suction onto my light, do you reckon? Excuse me. Oh, let that break my lights. What about the desk? Mm -hmm. The desk? When I'm just trying to, oh, oh. Oh, they got hooks. I can hook them on my light. <laughs> Hi. Okay. All right. So now that's ready to catch. You need to turn the camera back around to you. Stop fucking off. I'm right here. Oh, top notch. Love it. I'm over where he is. It's just going to slide all the way down. And fall yeah. Out. Yeah. So you've got like, a, hang on. I'm going to take you out. Hang on. Yep. Oh, but yeah. I, okay. So as it goes down here, it's going to hook in here because it then hooks up to the right. So every bit, every bit of hair sure should come here so part of me was like do i wet it but i'm not gonna because that would be a sensible thing to do yeah you should really spray it well brad mondo doesn't go for doing things that you're meant to do not that i'm actually expecting brad mondo to um watch this but i lift you up a bit you raise me up so you can see me cut my fringe oi oi pay attention Uh, I promise she's had no alcohol. Mm -hmm. I promise that she's had no alcohol. I can't drink alcohol, so that's... I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm probably going to do something really else. Okay. This is going to go so wrong, isn't it? You're not supposed to put it into a little ponytail at the front. For what? To cut it. Nah. Because then you put it in a ponytail, you can cut straight across, and then just take a bunch of hair, and it's already in a ponytail. <laughs> That sounds like a sensible thing to do. Oh, God. I'm not sensible. 
No, we know that. I want a really thick fringe. This is my problem. That doesn't look like it's going to be really thick, does it? Although, hang on. I know Brad Mondo said, oh my God, what's going on? Right, Brad Mondo says you can't stick any back on, but you can take more off. So yeah, I think you need to start it from further back. <laughs> nah, let's start it from here. <laughs> the other thing is, we've got to rem remember is the left hand side of my hair is thicker than my right hand side of the hair. We just don't know why. How do I look? Good, excellent. Stunning. You don't even need to cut it. I think you'll just keep it like that, to be honest. No, you reckon? Yeah. Oh, look. It's a beautiful look. I know. Vogue. I don't know what this bit's about. Like, what's this? this, this I think it's because that's normally where your parting would be. A little calic look. Everyone has one. Yep, they're a pissing nightmare. All right, let's have a look. How are we doing? I'm a bit nervous. Now, I know you meant to go from the edge of your eyebrow. Always go lower. Because you can trim up. You can never add more back. Yeah. So don't start cutting up here. No, because remember, it pings back up again. Yeah. As soon as you cut, it'll release. So it's going to go shorter than what you actually cut it whenever you pull it all the way down. The other thing is, look at that sort of look, isn't it? The other thing is, is I've straightened my hair already. Yeah. Well, when it's when it's when it's been washed, is that not going to be shorter then? Until you go, until you would straighten it, yeah. But you'd probably straighten your fringe, wouldn't you? Yeah. But start it like at the nose, release it, and then you can always trim. All right. Do you think that's enough here? Well, I think you should start further back, but you said no. Just start what? Further back. Back here. I think you need to pull in more from the sides to give it more volume. That's a bit more like it. You can always bring more down. True. See what he thinks. A good angle for everybody, isn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Who cares? Hair. Oh, God, that did get it thicker. Yeah, that looks much better. All right. Here we go. I, I think you're just sad you're not here to cut. I know. I should yeah. just spend every day that I'm there, do a different hair, so just chop a bit more of your hair off. Yeah. Do it. This is why I asked people for different hairstyles and everyone's like bold cuts. Like I asked, no, I actually asked everybody for hairstyles that they've always wanted. I said like, what hairstyles have you always wanted to try? Like, use me. I'm going to be like doing my hair. And I got bold cut. And I'm like, you've always yeah. wanted to have a bold cut, have you? That was in our last chit chat. <laughs> yep. Cool. Blah. Yeah. Right. First of all, I'm just going to take the ends off anyway, because there are dead. Look at how thin they are. Yeah. So let's just, oh, God, I need to put myself in the eye with scissors. Jesus. Buck scissors too. Hmm? They're butt scissors too. Yep. Butt scissors. How did that? Oh god, this is not gonna be good, is it? Oh shit. Oh shit.